So if you received an email that says, you, here's your attendee portal for this event, this is what you're going to see when you click on that link. Up here, you see profile. This is the most important piece. This is really the only piece you need to be in. But first thing, am I in the right event? Downtown development. Yep, that's the one I signed up for. If it's not the right event, let us know. You're in the wrong spot. Okay, first name, last name, can't change that. That's those are unique identifiers. Let me know if we spelled those wrong. I'll help you fix it. Uh, title, organization, you can fix that. Accessibility, dietary requirements. Um, usually we just have bacon, eggs, and hash browns, so not much I can help you out with there. Okay, this is the most important section about me. This is your bio. So this is the only place where you can go in and enter your phone number and your email address where other people can see it. Okay, so if you want them to see it, enter that in here. And then I just went in and copied and pasted my bio from my LinkedIn profile. You can get it from wherever or do whatever. You can type something in there like, hey, looking forward to the show. Hey, reach out to me, contact, let's have coffee. Whatever you want to put in this About Me section, people will be able to read. Next up, picture. If you see your picture there already, and it's good quality, you want to keep it. If it's not, just uh, browse your computer, choose the file, and it'll show up there. Okay, I'm going to show you what this all looks like to the, uh, to the audience in a second. Lastly, website, Twitter, LinkedIn, these are buttons that are going to show up uh, on your profile. If you want people to be able to go to your company's website or to your LinkedIn, put that in there. Don't forget to save profile. If you don't save it, it's not going to be in our system. Okay. Um, you can also go here and see your purchases, make sure uh, you didn't overpay or double pay, whatever it is. Um, last but not least is download event application. Click here. So if you're on your phone at the event and you want and you forgot to download the Android download, go here, download the Android, open it up. It's going to bring you to our mobile app environment. Okay, I recommend not using Visit Web Application only as a last resort. If you're trying to watch this on a tablet or a phone or something, that might work, but I recommend only using this for the for the web. Okay, I'm going to show you then where this, what this looks like to the virtual viewer. So now we're inside our event, uh, downtown development. This is our live event, um, our panels. Now, if this is going on live, you're going to see a live video show up here. This event's already occurred, so this is the rewatch. Um, here it is, right there. Boom! Get to see neat stuff. There's Mayor Thank Fry. Thank you, Steve, and good morning, everyone. And you can rewatch the event, and these are the panels. But what works here for you and why this matters to the person with the attendee profile is this networking button. So I click on networking, and I want to see who's here. Oh, hey, Ab Abe Eppert's here. Alan Davis is here. Um, who else is here? Oh, uh, Brent Erickson. Uh, that's awesome. I could start a chat with Brent Erickson. But you'll see Brent hasn't filled out his profile. I went ahead and filled mine out. And now you can see. From the back end, this is what it looks like where I put my phone number and my email address and my bio. This is going to show up any place, whether it's on the mobile app, whether it's on the virtual, or any other spot where you, people are able to click on your name. And this is an important feature here, the start chat. So if you want to chat with somebody else, you've got to go find them, click start chat. If they've got their mobile on, they're in their app, it'll pop right up and you can start a chat with them. If they've got their uh, notifications on, it'll let them know. If they don't, they're not going to see it until they open the app next. But this works great if somebody's remote and watching virtually and you're live and you want to chat with them because you happen to see that they're also at the same event. You can use this feature. If they're at their computer and you start a chat with them, they're going to get a notification. Hey, so-and-so wants to chat with you. So again, I got my LinkedIn here, linked to my website. It tags me as a speaker and an exhibitor because I do all things. Uh, that is your attendee portal. I encourage you to fill it out thoroughly every time for every event and use it to your advantage because you'll be able to create more and better networking. Thank you.